We're now learning some new subpoenas are being issued in the Fast and Furious investigation. To find out just how much Attorney General Eric Holder did know about that failed gun running sting. Mr. Holder is accused of not being forthcoming about when he was informed of that operation. Now he's facing a growing chorus of Republican lawmakers calling for his resignation. One of those very lawmakers joins us now is Republican freshman from Idaho, Congressman Raul Labrador. Congressman, welcome to Fox News on this Sunday morning. Good morning, Eric. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, good to have you here. What, what do you know about the new subpoenas? What uh, are they looking for and what, do, uh, what does the committee suspect? I think what we're trying to find out is what he knew when he knew it. He came to Congress and he testified before the Judiciary Committee that he didn't know anything until a couple of weeks before his testimony. Now we have five different documents that are telling us that he actually knew something at le close to a year before his testimony before Congress. And the question is what exactly Eric Holder was, was uh, hiding? Was he incompetent or was he lying to Congress? Those are the questions that we're asking. Do you think that the Attorney General of the United States, the highest law enforcement officer of this land, lied? I think it is a possibility, and that's what I said in my statement. He was either lying or grossly incompetent. I understand that uh, he had a lot of documents on his desk, and I understand that maybe uh, he, he just didn't pay attention to this situation when, he was, uh, when it went through over by his desk. But the question is that he knew he was going to go testify before Congress. He knew that he was going to be asked questions about this program because we had an, a Border Patrol agent, Brian Terry, who had died. And he should have taken the responsibility to find out as much as he could about this program before he testified. You had Jason Chaffetz and the chairman of the Oversight and Government Reform Committee ask him questions about his knowledge about this issue, and he told them both that he didn't know anything about it until just a couple of weeks before his testimony. Well, he said, you know, uh, here's this letter. I mean, he sent this five-page letter uh, to the committee and to others uh, saying he gets a lot of documents on his desk. He didn't see any of these memos, uh, didn't know about them. In fact, here's a, a quote from this letter from the Attorney General who says, quote, My testimony was truthful and accurate. I have no recollection of knowing about Fast and Furious or of hearing its name prior to the public controversy about it. Prior to early 2011, I certainly never knew about the tactics employed in the operation. Uh, do you think that's acceptable that the Attorney General wouldn't know anything about this as he claims? I think it's acceptable to understand that a person at the level of the Attorney General or like a congressman or even a business owner has a lot of documents go across his desk. I don't have any problem with him not knowing about it when it came across his desk. The question is that he was going to testify before Congress and he knew that he was going to be asked questions about Fast and Furious. By that time we knew that Officer Terry had been killed, that there were other crimes that were linked to these guns. So why did he choose to actually not do the research and not find out how much his office knew about Fast and Furious? So he was either lying about it or he was willfully neglecting to do his due diligence before he came before Congress. You just mentioned Brian Terry. Let me fill in folks a little bit about uh, Mr. Terry, a hero if there ever was one. Uh, an officer, he was murdered in December uh, on the border. Uh, there were two assault weapons that they say were traced back to Fast and Furious found near him. His family, when they testified, said, quote, We hope all the individuals involved in Brian's murder and those that played a role in putting the assault weapons in his hands are found and prosecuted. Do you think when the uh, Terry family says all those involved in putting the assault weapons in his, in his hands, the suspects, could be uh, claiming others besides the drug cartels are involved? Absolutely. We need to know... At the, at the government level, exactly who knew what they knew and when they knew it. We need to know whether it was at the ATF level, whether it was at the higher level at the Attorney General's office, or whether it went all the way up to the top of the administration and the President's office. We need to know all these things, and I think Brian Terry's family deserves to have full investigation of what's happening. We know that not only Brian Terry, but there was um, a person who worked for the uh, Department of State in Mexico who died uh, because of these guns. We know that numerous cr crimes have been committed in the United States and in Mexico. We have thousands of guns that were walked to Mexico. And I think it was an irresponsible program. I think whoever came up with this program needs to be fired. And I think anybody who accept who fail to do their duty because of this program needs to be fired as well. Uh, yeah, about 2,000 guns or so. They said the intent was to try and uh, trace them to get to the uh, criminals, but 
may not, as we have seen, sadly and tragically, ended up that way. Congressman Rule uh, Labrador, we thank you for joining us this morning. The uh, subpoenas are just going out. This seems to be a potential growing scandal, and we'll stay on it here in the Fox News Channel. Thank you for joining us this morning from Boise. Thank you, Eric. Jamie? Surveillance cameras are a common tool in my...